Joel, you're the pastor for preaching here at Community Christian Church. Um, and a lot of pastors today like to preach topically, but you like to preach expositorily. What's the difference and why do you choose to go that route? Yeah. Well, topical preaching is where we basically take a particular idea or topic that we want to talk about and we go to Scripture and try and find all of the verses that pertain to that topic and assemble them together to try and leverage the weight of God's revelation, bring it to bear on that particular subject. An expository approach to teaching is where we actually take the text of Scripture and we just expound it in its context. So we allow the text itself to become the sum and substance of the teaching curriculum. So what I preach about is going to be whatever is in Scripture in that particular place and trying to understand it in its context and then apply it in culturally uh, specific ways and contemporary ways. Um, Topical preaching is really can be very valuable. Uh, it has some advantages in the ability to immediately address particular subjects that may be of importance to the congregation or within a particular culture. Um, expository preaching, however, allows us to bring the entire witness of the Bible to bear on our lives. And I think the danger or maybe the disadvantage of topical preaching is that people sometimes may uh, lose awareness if we're not careful of the context of Scripture. And we'll begin to think that Scripture is kind of written in a topical way, that it's these random verses that we uh, cross-reference and then try to understand what God wants us to believe or think about a particular idea. Whereas an expository model emphasizes the unity of Scripture and the literary context of Scripture and allows us to look at the text in a more holistic way that hopefully improves our understanding of the Bible as a whole. You know, in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 2, when Paul charges Timothy with regard to his preaching ministry, he tells him specifically to preach the Word. And it seems significant to me that he says preach the Word and not just preach the truth or preach the Gospel. And obviously Timothy was to do those things. He was to preach the truth. He was to preach the gospel. But in this context, Paul is talking to Timothy about the power and the purpose of the scriptures. Even back in chapter 3, he had started that discussion. And so as he comes to chapter 4 and says, preach the word, in context, Timothy would understand this to be a reference to preaching the scriptures and the text of scripture. And one of the dangers with a topical approach to teaching is that the congregation is dependent upon the preacher to determine what they need to hear, what they need to know. And even with the best of intentions, any of us as fallible men are going to fall short in really identifying everything that the people of God need to know and understand. Whereas if we take the text of Scripture and allow the text of Scripture uh, to be preached in its context, and we allow God himself, by means of that written revelation, to determine the curriculum, so to speak, that we're going to use, then we allow God to be the one who decides what we need to know, what we need to understand. And that way we can't, we can't hide from issues that we may want to avoid. We can't run from things that may be controversial. And we won't overlook things that may not be high on our priority list, but are clearly of concern to the Lord. And so that's why I prefer an expository approach, not as an exclusive way of teaching. You know, we do some topical and thematic teaching, and I think we should. But systematic exposition of Scripture, I believe, is the very best model to use as the primary means of teaching the Word of God to the people of God in the local church.